G'day, welcome back to another episode. Today we're just going to run through our three tips on how we prevent guava moth on our property. Tip number one is we always rake up our dropped fruit from our Fijoa hedges. Our Fijoa hedges seem to get hit harder than all our other fruit trees in our garden. We rake up the fruit and we either feed it to our sheep or we get it composted off our property. We never ever compost this waste on our property because it will just increase the chance of guava moth continuing. Tip number two is that we plant peppermint geraniums under our lemon trees. Our lemon trees used to get hit real hard by the guava moth, which made them okay for juicing, but it wasn't very pleasant. Now, since we've planted geranium, uh, peppermint geraniums underneath the lemon tree, we seem to have almost eliminated the problem of guava moth on our lemons. Mm. Tip number three is you can use this fine netting and you can actually have it over the whole fruit tree and pin it down at the bottom to stop the guava moth laying its eggs on the fruit. To have a real effect on the guava moth on, in your garden, you almost need to talk to your neighbors and have a multi-pronged approach. I would suggest following all three of our tips as well as some other suggestions, which could be use guava moth traps, which use uh, like a pheromone that attracts the gua guava moth into the trap. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up button, really helps out the channel and this video. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And if you're new here, subscribe. There's lots more content like this coming your way.